Well, good early morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on February 22nd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. I apologize. I haven't uploaded in three days. I've been super busy and exhausted after having a cold for almost a week. Um, I'm back, and I apologize that I haven't been able to do my updates, my daily dues. But here I wanted to share some images of a beautiful chemtrail that was steered and set right across here at Calgary. And this is what it looked like about an hour later. These are chemical trails from planes being sprayed in our skies to help control climate extremes. That's right. They're not doing it to kill us. They're doing it to save us. We're going to look here at the largest earthquake here. The last 24 hours was a 7.5 in Peru. 7.5 in Palema, Ecuador. Peru sending tsunami warnings in Ecuador, on the Peru border. No tsunami in the ocean. But a 7.5, that is a very large earthquake. 115 kilometers southeast of Ecuador. You can see here, the tsunami warnings were issued for the coastline as well as the Peru border. I want to thank you all for watching today. Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, posted my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world as they happen, when they happen. I'm trying my best to keep you guys aware and prepared. And you guys need to do your own part as well. Do your own research and make sure that you are aware and prepared for any kind of disaster. Just look here at the earthquake map. 7.5 at 132 kilometer depth. Polara. Pol Palora. Ecuador, 7.5. Wow, that is a big earthquake. And we were just talking about this yesterday, how it has been very quiet for large earthquakes recently. Did not expect this 7.5 to ring off overnight. Thoughts and prayers going to everyone being affected by this large 7.5 earthquake in Peru. Also wanted to show you the last seven days for earthquakes as there's been a kind of a reoccurring pattern for deep earthquakes and it's about every other day in the Fiji region that we have a very deep earthquake 500 kilometer depth or more so just an interesting fact I wanted to show you but the last seven days still very quiet in North America South America seems to be the big continent ringing off for earthquakes today. But stay aware and prepared, North America. I'm going to get into weather now. As I was looking at the total precipital water map overlooking the Pacific Ocean, mass amounts of moisture. And that's what I've been talking about for the last couple of years on my channel, is that we are going to have increased moisture around the world as our magnetosphere is breaking down collapsing on us you can see here cyclone oma and also typhoon Wu Tin. there's a category three storm right now and here we are looking over at nasa worldview this is Cyclone Oma heading south and then north again. Watching the five-day forecast at the end of the video, you'll see taking a totally different trajectory and not heading towards New Zealand or Brisbane. It's actually heading north again. But I wanted to show you here the infested, chemtrailed Pacific Ocean as they created that high-pressure ridge to stop the very large low pressure system that was incoming 
from Hawaii. Now, a lot of people on the internet are saying that these chemtrails, they're doing it to kill us. It's, it's part of weather warfare. But yeah, it is weather warfare, but it's to stop these weather systems from getting extremely huge and extremely dangerous as they are continuing to just get bigger and stronger week after week. And here's the latest look at Cyclone Oma. As I said, we'll be heading north again. And Typhoon Wu Tin, who will be just grazing the Mariana Islands and possibly heading towards Japan. And look at this high pressure ridge. Clear skies built by high pressure injections, aerosol injections. Now this, this is that very large storm that went across the United States, brought freezing rain, a couple of, a few tornado warnings, but it also thousands of lightning strikes across the southeastern United States. Just looking the last seven days, we've got the reoccurring pattern. About every three to four days, these large low pressure systems are developing in the Gulf and heading straight north intertropical convergence we're having extreme temperature variances across the uh, across North America and here it's just showing look at all of these lightning strikes across four states there was almost 1200 lightning strikes recorded through that storm the other night intense electrifying storm looking at storm coverages we're gonna be looking at cyclone oma and typhoon wootin here's cyclone oma Here is Wootin. Five day forecast shows it going straight west of the Mariana Islands and heading towards Japan. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike, watching very large winter storm developing for Eastern Canada southeastern United States and we've got some snow moving in tonight for Calgary tonight and tomorrow about three to five centimeters maybe ten centimeters but thank you for watching today this has been Mike with morning dew daily events worldwide stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew thanks for watching bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.